Hello everyone, welcome to Agam IAS. I am Teresa George. Today we are going to discuss about the topic that was in news that is Partnership for Global Infrastructure and Investment. It is an initiative by G7 countries. By this initiative, they aim to fund infrastructure projects in developing countries. It was earlier known as Build Back Better World Framework when it was first proposed uh, last year in the last year G7 summit. By this summit, they aim to counter the uh, China's Belt and Road Initiative. And through this initiative, G7 countries aim to collectively mobilize $600 billion by 2027 to invest in sustainable and quality infrastructure projects in developing countries including India. Then, uh, uh, this initiative is value-driven, high-impact and transparent infrastructure partnership that is to meet the enormous infrastructure needs of the developing countries. The developing means low and middle income countries. The four pillars of partnership for global infrastructure and investment is first one to tackle the climate crisis and ensure global energy security through clean energy supply chains. Second one bolstering in digital information and communication technology networks facilitating technologies such as 5G and 6G, internet connectivity and cyber security. Third one advance gender equality and equity. Fourth one, build and upgrade global health infrastructure. If we discuss first one, to tackle the climate crisis, this is the ma uh, major crisis that the world is facing as of now. We have some uh, months dropped and some months very rainy, flooding, etc. So, this uh, climate crisis is the ma uh, major crisis that as of now we are facing. And uh, the main culprit of this is burning of fossil fuel and as, uh, as of now the fossil fuel are depleting and uh, it need, we need to depend upon some other alternative that is uh, they came up with cl uh, clean energy clean energy clean energy like solar solar energy wind energy etc and uh, the creation of these energies and by supplying these chains, sup, uh, uh, supplying these energy through global supply chains. This is one of the aim of uh, partnership for global infrastructure and investment. Second one is digital information and communication technology networks. We know development uh, as of today, development is impossible without without technology. That to 5G and 6G internet connectivity. China is now focusing on 6G internet connectivity and India as of now is trying to implement only India. 5G internet connectivity is uh, implementing only now and cyber security. Uh, last year we have Pegasus issue. This is the second goal of uh, partnership for global infrastructure and investment. Third one is advanced gender equality and equity that is giving more importance to women, priority to women and build and upgrade global health infrastructure. That COVID-19 pand COVID pandemic exposed the low infrastructure in may, uh, many low and middle income countries especially in Africa. So, to meet another pandemic in the uh, coming years or in future to meet the another pandemic, we need to strengthen the global infrastructure. These are the four uh, priority pillars under Partnership for Global Infrastructure and Investment. China's Belt and Road Initiative, it was a news because as we have discussed earlier, Partnership for Global Infrastructure and Investment, one aim was to counter China's Belt and Road Initiative. So, we have to learn about China's Belt and Road Initiative. It started in 2013 under Chinese President Xi Jinping and uh, one of the aim was to revive the ancient trade route crossing to and from Silk Road. Ancient trade route was earlier on Silk Road crossing to and from China from Rome in Europe to East Asia. By this initiative, China gives loan for many countries, for many low and middle income countries to boost their infra infrastructure projects. This is where we, uh, we can see ancient trade route crossing to and from China from Rome in Europe to East Asia. Trade route. 
as we can see from China, China, uh, the uh, route is connecting to Central Asia and this route is also connecting to Europe. That is China's, China's product will be easily available in Central Asia and Europe thereby they can boost their trade. And uh, we can also see from this here uh, trade route is going to South Asia. South Asia from there to Persian Gulf and from there to Europe. This is South China Sea. That is almost every China uh, China's trade route is ready, reaching almost every part of the world except in South America and North America and Russia too. India is against this China's Belt and Road Initiative because this initiative passes through India's Pakistan occupied Kashmir, which that is Gilgis Baljistan, which India claims. Here, here we can see Gadar port of uh, Gadar port in Ka uh, Pakistan. The route is passing through India's Pakistan occupied Kashmir, that is Gilgis Bal Baljistan. From there, it connects to China. It is a question of India's sovereignty over this land. India's question of India's sovereignty. That is why India India opposing this Belt and Road Initiative of China. Next, we have to learn about G7 countries because global uh, partnership for global infrastructure and investment was was an initiative by G7 countries. G7 countries was an intergovernmental political forum. Forum. It is an informal forum. Informal in the sense that there is no particular agenda. Particular agenda. That is what is meant by informal forum. And the member countries are Canada, France, Germany, Italy, Japan, United Kingdom, and United States. These are the leading industrialized nation. And the uh, G7 countries. G7 the informal forum was formed after uh, the first oil shock in 1973 and the subsequent financial crisis and this was the G7 country this forum was formed in 1975 G8 means G7 plus Russia but later Russia was ousted because of Crimea annexation by Russia in the year 2014 thereby it uh, becomes G7 and G7 countries have no formal constitution or no fixed headquarters and uh, the resolutions or the decision made by the G7 submit made in the G7 submit are not binding on the member countries and this submit held annually this year in uh, Indian's Prime Minister India's Prime Minister uh, Prime Minister Modi is invited to the summit and he is dis discussing about the climate change in the summit. And this is all about G7 countries. Um, last many years, um, uh, questions based on the organization have been asked in the prelims. We have one model question to, uh, to solve. This is the model question. Partnership for Global Infrastructure and Investment recently seen in news is related to which one of the following group? A. World Bank B. Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank C. G7 Countries D. BRICS Try to answer this question and comment your answer in the comment, comment box and the answer and the detailed explanation and the material will be provided in our telegram channels telegram channels link will be provided in the description box Hope you have enjoyed this section. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.